Hey guys, welcome to my shop. I'm Dave and I make knives. In this video, I'm going to make a hunting knife for a friend of mine who bought a knife and supported me when I was first starting out. I wanted to really take my time with this knife and try some new things and give him something that he's really going to be happy with. Marcus, if you watch this, thanks again, buddy. The blade is 7 inches long and it's made from 1095 high carbon steel. It's got a saber ground bevel with a swedge on the spine of the blade and this is my first ever Hamon which I don't mind saying turned out to be pretty amazing this is also my first ever hidden tang with a fitted guard made from brass and this wood is also a first for me made from wenge or wenge I've heard a couple different pronunciations for it anyway yeah here it is Guys, I'm really excited to finally have another video up, and I thank all of you who have been patiently waiting. Let's get to work. The first thing to do is trace my knife profile onto the piece of steel. Once it's traced out, I'm going to cut it out on the bandsaw, take it over to the belt grinder, and then use some files to clean up the profile. You'll see me scribe some reference lines. I'm going to use those when grinding the bevel and the swedge, and also to know where the center of the edge will be. I'll rough grind the bevel and swedge using a 36 grit ceramic belt, and this is only the rough grind, so I'll leave the blade pretty thick before heat treatment, over 1mm at the edge. This is to help prevent cracking of the blade during the quench. I'll see you guys after I'm done grinding this bevel.
So now the blade is almost ready for heat treatment, but there are a couple things to do first. Right now I am marking the handle pin holes, then I'll center punch them, then drill them. I always start out my holes using a center drill first, because it doesn't flex like a regular drill bit. This makes the hole placement more accurate. After the center drill, I will then follow up with a regular bit, usually 1 8 inch, and then step up the size of the drill bit as needed. Next I will mark the spine for my file work. Once I have my markings, I will start out with a triangular file to get my notches started, and then follow up with a round file. Now we'll prepare the blade for the hamon. The blade has been put through two normalizing cycles before this step, which I'll show footage for coming up. What you see in that jar is Rutland's fiberglass cement. I saw this used in another YouTube video, and I wish I could remember where I saw it so I can give him credit. Anyway, I figured I would do a better job applying this stuff than clay, which is the traditional method. The wire is to help hold the cement on so it doesn't break apart during the heat treat. I put an even layer on the parts of the blade that I didn't want to harden. Now the blade is ready for heat treatment. The hardening appears to be successful. Now I'll toss it in the oven for two tempering cycles of two hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't get any shots of this for some reason, but I did it, I promise. Now I'm going to hammer some brass inserts into the handle pin holes. This is another trick I learned watching other YouTubers. I'll explain this more later in the build when I'm drilling the handle pin holes. I actually bent the tang a little bit doing this, but it was no big deal, and I was able to fix it up on the belt grinder. I'm now going to do the finish grinding on the blade.
My belt progression is pretty basic. I'll start out using the same 36 grit ceramic belt as before. I'm just looking to hog material off at this point. When grinding, I'll be checking the thickness of my edge, and once it gets near where I want, I'll switch to the Norax X100 ceramic belt, 150 grit. Then I'll move over to the Norax X65 belt, which is 220 grit. That's as far as I'll go on the blade in this video. The rest will be spent working on the handle. I'll be cutting out and shaping the guard and guard spacer, and I'll do some rough shaping of the handle. Let's do it!
that's where we'll end it for today. Part 2 will be uploaded soon, where I will take you guys through to the completion of this knife. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button, which helps a new channel like mine big time. I want to thank all of you guys who have shown me the love in the comments. It really means a lot to me, and you guys have been my biggest source of motivation working on this latest edit. I hope the video delivered, I hope it was worth the wait since the last one, and I promise I won't make you guys wait this long for part two. Okay, thanks, bye.